You see that fish right there? Crazy little bottom feeder fish. All right, on with today's project. And get the sun in my face. We gotta go way down to the south end of the lake over there where the sun is and uh, chop a hole in the ice. So come along, see how fun it's gonna be. Hey, Ailey, what are you pulling? Sled. What's in that sled? Some stuff. Yeah, there's lots of stuff. What do you have the rope for? Uh, um, getting someone back in. If I fall in the water, yep. And then we have the ax. I got my three cutest helpers ever. Maybe then let me take the life jacket from you, unless you want to wear it for now. Okay. Chloe, what's the, what's the life jacket for? Um, just in case anybody falls in the water, then they can float. I have got to go out um, where we normally pop a hole in the ice. The ice looks plenty thick enough, but you can never be too careful when there's a lake ice involved. So, my beautiful camera assistant person, woman, is going to hold the other end of this rope while I make my way out there with the ax and our insulated cap. All right, I'm out here on the lake, snugged up with rope and life jacket, and Alyssa is set as my anchor. All right, let's do this. I don't care how thick this ice is, this makes me a little nervous. You gonna save me if I fall in? I'll save you. <laughs> All right. If I fall in, I would touch the bottom fairly soon. It's probably 10 feet deep right here. The reason we do this is, we'll show you guys later on this winter, we drive the snowmobiles all the way down here, make a nice loop, fill up the water, and then drive back up the trail. So what I've done is measured our insulated cap. That sits on the water. And I got a rectangle about 44 by 20. The ice on this lake will get to be about three to four feet deep. And this insulated cap we set on our hole Every time after we get our water, we just set the lid back down and uh, just cover it with a little bit of snow so no wind gets under it. And no matter how cold it gets out here, that insulated cap doesn't let any ice build up on the hole more than maybe an inch or two. So all throughout the year, the cold snaps that we have in January and February, we don't have to chop through tons and tons of ice. So we wanna get an early start with this cap so we don't have to come out here and chop through a foot of ice. We don't want to have to do it with a chainsaw. That's why we're out here now. We got about three inches of ice that we're walking on. Big snail right down there. It's so big. There it is. What's one of your favorite things to do in the summer in the lake? Do you like to hunt snails? Yeah. So it's pretty cool to see them under the water, huh? Yeah. It's even cooler in the winter. Yeah. Howie, what are you doing? Oh, you hear that? Yeah. I'm sure the camera picked up that sound. Look at this crack that just happened under my feet. Boom! Right where I chopped with the ax and just keeps on going. What I've heard is cracks make the ice stronger. <laughs> I don't know what loser said that, but maybe it's true. I don't know. It's, it doesn't make me feel any better. Gosh, dang. Nice and slow. Oh, yeah, that's why I brought my safety glasses. Ice chips. Might as well wear them. Yep. 
This is gonna be the hole that I rely on all winter. So I gotta do it right the first time. And I don't get many second chances. Again, unless we get the chainsaw involved and we do not wanna do that. All the bar oil contaminates the lake. About halfway done and then I gotta break out the middle. couple more chops. This got a little wider than I wanted it, but I think I compensated for my width enough. Got about a four foot by two foot hole. Now we just gotta clean it out. Okay, that's about it for one day. We'll get this, uh, cleaned up, put the lid on it and call it good. Come on, take brothers. <laughs>